Hello and welcome to this BlackBerry unlocking tutorial. Quite simply, I offer a service by which I email you an unlocking code for your phone. All I need is the IMEI number and the MEP code of the phone. To get the IMEI number, we hold down ALT and we type in star hash zero six hash and the phone will print your IMEI number on the center of the screen. Copy it accurately because if you send me an incorrect number I will generate an incorrect code. So double check it. The next thing is the MEP code. Now the MEP code is actually hidden on a secret screen inside the BlackBerry. We're going to use a web page to generate the password that we need to get into that screen. So the first thing that we do is we're going to hold down three keys. Now I've put instructions, I'm using a BlackBerry Bold 9700, there's touchscreen versions obviously of Blackberries, and uh, I've put down on the website uh, the three different ways you can get into the hidden screen called the Help Me screen. Okay, that would be the first step uh, that we need to get into. On the 9700, we do Alt, Caps, and H. By pressing those three keys together, we now have a new screen pop up. On that screen, we're going to need to copy the PIN number onto the website because we're going to copy the PIN, the app version, and the uptime onto the website to generate a password that we're going to type in to get into the hidden screen. So when you copy the PIN, make sure you're using lowercase letters. Do not add any extra spaces at the end or at the beginning so that it's purely as you see it, just the PIN number. The next thing that you need to copy is the app version. The app version, a series of numbers, dots, and at the end, a set of digits inside a pair of brackets. It's important that you put a space between the numbers and that starting bracket. And again, no extra characters. The last piece of information that you type into the website is the uptime, listed here as a long number with the word sex at the end of it. Um, only type in the number of the uh, that you see without the words uh, sex into the uh, web page. Once you've done that you will get a code to type in. The code will be made out of numbers and letters and it's important that when you type in one of the numbers that you hold down alt and you press the number afterwards and when you do the letters although the website prints them in capitals they are to be typed in in lowercase so that uh, you type in the whole password and if you mistype it the hidden screen won't show up but you can retry as many times as you can and where you do it is you type it into the help me screen immediately you won't see what you type but you just go ahead and type in the code now I'm going to go and do that so that we see the next bit of the screen okay so I've typed in uh, my password and I used the AWP to type in the numbers and just typed in the letters and I ended up on a new screen called the engineering screen contents and on that screen we've got just two more steps to do we scroll down to OS engineering screens on the menu and we click into it and then we scroll down to device info uh, when you're on that list scroll down and it's a couple of pages down until you find a line to start with MEP. Um, after it is a set of numbers. Uh, that's the code that we need from your phone. In this case, I've got MEP-06814-004. Now, with those two bits of information now acquired, uh, send it to us with your payment and we will process the order and send you back a unlocking code. Now, to unlock your phone, uh, we normally would change onto the new SIM. 
99% uh, of the time, you, the phone, when it boots up, it's going to ask you for your unlocking code. Um, at that stage, the number that we've sent you, the MEP2 code, is your network unlocking code. You type that code in and press it on the trackpad, and the code should say code accepted. If it says code error, it's worth checking immediately that you've sent me the correct information. So it's worth checking the IMEI number and even the MEP code just to make sure that we're working from the right set of numbers before you try again. Uh, because every time you try, you lose an attempt out of 10 that you're normally given. Uh, when you um, are on the screen typing in the code, it will say open brackets, a number and then the word left and close brackets. It will tell you how many retries you've got left. If your phone says zero, this code won't work. Basically, you've exhausted all your attempts to unlock the phone. But if you still have a uh, 10 tries and you've got one code error just happened, you'll be down to nine retries. So they're valuable. So let's check the information again before you try the code. And when you do try the code the second time, accuracy is important. So try to type it in um, accurately um, and you should unlock your phone. Um, so to start the process of unlocking, if it doesn't ask you for the code when you've changed SIM, which sometimes also occurs, we need to do it manually. So we're on the uh, home screen and we need to go into, in this case I'm using version 6 of um, the BlackBerry OS. We need to go into the spanner options and we go on to device and we scroll down to advanced system settings and we go into the menu SIM card. That's where we want to be. It's sometimes a little different now between uh, this, what I've just said, and the older operating systems. It, but generally, it will always be the options, advanced menu, and SIM card is what you're looking for. Um, when I'm on that screen, I need to type in the following uh, word, M-E-P-D. And I do that straight on the SIM card menu, M-E-P-D, and it unlocks a detailed list of what MEPs are enabled or disabled or active or inactive. A active or enabled MEP, saying either for example a network, service provider, corporate and so on, um, means that it's locked and it needs to be unlocked. And uh, you've got the codes for anything that says, like I said, active or enabled, just um, work out which one it is. We've got a MEP2, for example, for the network, and we might also have a service net, uh, service provider, which would be uh, MEP4. So to type in the code, or to get the phone to ask you for the code, we are typing in MEP, ALT, and then the number 2. And when we do that, it's now asking us for the unlocking code. And at this stage, we type in the MEP2 code. And once we type it in, it would say accepted. It would leave you on this menu. And if you had another lock to do, all you would need to do, say the MEP4, all you would need to do is the MEP Alt 4, and it will ask you to type in the MEP4 unlocking code. Unlock all the options of your phone and your phone will then be able to be operated with any SIM that you put into the phone in any country. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, um, email us and uh, we'll take it from there. Just a quick additional note. On some BlackBerry models, it's, we're unable to read the MEP code that's stored in the phone on the screen. Um, I'm going to list these out now. They are the 9360, the 9380, the 9810, the 9850, 9860, 9900 and the 9930. Um, all of those models won't show you the MEP code. I've prepared a list online on the web page which allows you to look up who your phone is locked, locked onto and uh, what country 
and it lists you the MIP code that you should be using without having to look it up on the phone. If your country uh, or sorry, if your service provider and country is not listed on that list, then the only option is um, to try to use a piece of software called a MEP reader. If you just go into Google and you just type in MEP reader, you'll find a few companies offering a very simple small program that allows you to connect uh, the phone via cable USB and run a program available also for the Mac as well as the PC and run a program uh, that will read the IMEI and the MEP code off the phone. Uh, but if you don't you know, want to install anything uh, to do those uh, to get that information, then I've prepared a list on the web page. Look up your f provider and look up your, the country and see if you're on that list. If you're not, unfortunately, I won't be able to provide you an unlocking code. Um, and that's it, really. Um, that's the update. Take care. Hello, and welcome to this unlocking tutorial for BlackBerry mobile phone. I offer a service giving you a unlocking code for your phone, allowing you to use it with any uh, company worldwide carrier on the planet, in the universe, wherever you get reception. I provide a service where I email you an unlock an uh, la la la. Hello and welcome to this tutorial helping you unlock your BlackBerry mobile phone. To unlock a BlackBerry, we need to... We just dial star hash zero six hash. Shall we try that again?